Vayikra, chapter 20. Yehovah said to Moshe, Say to the people of Israel, If someone from the people of Israel or one of the foreigners living in Israel sacrifices one of his children to Molech, he must be put to death. The people of the land are to stone him to death. I too will set myself against him and cut him off from his people because he has sacrificed his child to Molech, defiling my sanctuary and profaning my holy name. If the people of the land look the other way when that man sacrifices his child to Molech and fail to put him to death, then I will set myself against him, his family, and everyone who follows him to go fornicating after Molech and cut them off from their people. The person who turns to spirit mediums and sorcerers to go fornicating after them, I will set myself against him and cut him off from his people. Therefore consecrate yourselves. You people must be holy, because I am Jehovah your God. Observe my regulations and obey them. I am Jehovah who sets you apart to be holy. A person who curses his father or mother must be put to death. Having cursed his father or his mother, his blood is on him. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, that is, with the wife of a fellow countryman, both the adulterer and the adulteress must be put to death. The man who goes to bed with his father's wife has disgraced his father sexually, and both of them must be put to death. Their blood is on them. If a man goes to death, if a man goes to bed with his daughter-in-law, both of them must be put to death. They have committed a perversion and their blood is on them. If a man goes to bed with a man as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They must be put to death. Their blood is on them. If a man marries a woman and her mother, it is depravity. They are to be put to death by fire, both he and they, so that there will not be depravity among you. If a man has sexual relations with an animal, he must be put to death, and you are to kill the animal. If a woman approaches an animal and has sexual relations with it, you are to kill the woman and the animal. Their blood will be on them. If a man takes his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter and has sexual relations with her, and she consents, it is a shameful thing. They are to be cut off publicly. He has had sexual relations with his sister, and he will bear the consequences of their wrongdoing. If a man goes to bed with a woman in her menstrual period and has sexual relations with her, he has exposed the source of her blood, and she has exposed the source of her blood. Both of them are to be cut off from their people. You are not to have sexual relations with your mother's sister or your father's sister. A person who does this has had sexual relations with his close relative. They will bear the consequences of their wrongdoing. If a man goes to bed with his uncle's wife, he has disgraced his uncle sexually. They will bear the consequences of their sin and die childless. If a man takes his brother's wife, it is uncleanness. He has disgraced his brother sexually. They will be childless. You are to observe all my regulations and rulings and act on them, so that the land to which I am bringing you will not vomit you out. Do not live by the regulations of the nation which I am expelling ahead of you, because they did all these things, which, I, which is why I detested them. But to you I have said, you will inherit their land. I will give it to you as a possession, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am Jehovah your God, who has set you apart from other peoples, Maftir. Therefore you are to distinguish between clean and unclean animals and between clean and unclean birds. Do not make yourself detestable with an animal, bird, or reptile that I have set apart for you to regard as unclean. Rather, you people are to be holy for me, because I, Yelvah, am holy, and I have set you apart from the other peoples so that you can belong to me. A man or woman who is a spirit medium or sorcerer must be put to death. They are to stone them to death. Their blood will be on them.